Cornelius, we're here at DMG Mori in uh, Fronten, um, a fantastic facility here. One of the machines that uh, we've picked out to look at is one I've seen before, but I want to get your opinion on really how good this machine is and why it is so popular. So can you tell us about this five axis that we have to my left? Yes, it's the DMU 65 monoblock, what is our best-selling machine at uh, the Kalmar Fronten. And I like it very much because it's uh, yeah, the machine we sell uh, in very big numbers to small and medium enterprises. And these are really the core of our customer base. And uh, they, when they want to go into 5-axis machining, they have the best choice with the monoblock to start with in this technology already on a very high level. You've got 5-axis champion uh, labelled across your machines. Where does that come from? Yeah, so we have here in Decklemar Fronten 5-axis uh, experience more than 30 years already and uh, we uh, try to in innovate uh, year by year and uh, try to keep all so this leading position worldwide in the 5-axis technology and up to now it's getting tougher and tougher because competition is coming of course uh, from all over the world uh, but we are uh, thinking that we still are a little bit ahead and uh, try to also uh, yeah, be that in the future and develop new features, for example, software solutions, what are becoming more and more important, like our technology cycles for the monoblock, but also for the other series. I, I mean, as, let's talk about this machine and the speed of it. I've, I've seen it moving. I mean, wow, it, you know, it has a phenomenal pace about it. I mean, how do you manage to maintain the, the tolerances and the accuracy on components when you're moving at such quick speeds? Yeah, for example, in the table we have a cooling system integrated as well as in the spindle, so it's an active uh, chiller unit, what is a standard unit uh, integrated in every machine where we try to balance the temperature level on the, of the machine in, uh, in, uh, yeah, in a, a certain level to keep the accuracy even when we are moving very fast. And on the other side we have also integrated several software options, for example, uh, and high quality components like uh, direct measuring systems what are also standard feature in this machine and therefore uh, we come with the standard uh, configuration of the machine already on the high accuracy level. Because the faster it moves the more it's likely to heat up and grow as well isn't it so you're, you're compensating for that, that possibility of growth too. Yeah, c compensation is just the second best solution. The first uh, solution we try to realize it to get out the heat before it is uh, influencing the structure of the machine with this cooling system, what I mentioned before. And then, of course, we have also different compensations inside with a temperature compensation with a uh, SGS uh, solution, for example, spindle growth sensor, where we then can compensate the uh, growth we have on the spindle indeed and also other uh, things what we have as uh, software options, for example, a very interesting thing is our VCS complete, means volumetric compensation system, uh, where we do yeah, some kind of volumetric compensation and offer this to our uh, customers to uh, secure a high accuracy or a highest accuracy over the lifetime of the machine. Yeah? It's because of course, the, usually the accuracy will uh, go a little bit down through wear and uh, such things and there we have a very nice tool what we will also show at the EMO exhibition in two weeks from now uh, named VCS complete so a very new and uh, yeah, I think unique uh, compensation tool and technology cycle from Dean Chimori. Okay so that's uh, that's on show at EMO uh, in a couple of weeks time and um, the, the, the way the table moves here the A and the C axis yeah. Uh, not on like a, a worm and wheel gear, is it? I mean, you, you wouldn't move that fast like that. No, it's not a worm gear. So what we see here and what we saw in the test cut we, we did is a direct drive table in the C-axis. And as option, we offer that also for the A-axis so that you have really direct drive, uh, direct drives in A and C-axis, what we especially recommend as best solution then for uh, die and mold business to achieve high accuracy, high speed dynamic, and also high surface quality finally. And, 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 and the way this is built, um, when we look at these machines, it's a one piece casting. And interestingly, what you said to me earlier is about the conditions in every area of the machine are the same, aren't they, as a result of the way you build it. If, can you just elaborate on what you, what you meant by that? Yes, so it's uh, the monoblock, uh, the, the name is already here, 
uh, the key. It's one big casting, what you see here from the beginning until uh, the other end of the machine. So that is one casting unit where we then place the components on top of this casting. And there we have in the X and Y axis constant uh, uh, yeah, the distances. It's, it's good to, distribution, to it's distributed equally throughout. Yeah, yeah, completely. And it does not change uh, independent where the spindle is moving in the working area, even when we are uh, overlapping the table on the entire stroke. Uh, speed, accuracy, uh, long life we've spoken about. Uh, finally, from, from me, Cornelius, your, your control here. Uh, tell us about control because that really is, you know, sets these apart too, doesn't it? Yes, it is. So, Silos Control, that is a development of Team Chimori. We have this uh, since several years now and are continuously developing it. And we have now more than 20 different apps what uh, make the life easier for the operator. So, that is the main target to make the uh, operation of the machine for the operator easier at the end of the day and that uh, we try to realize with the silos control and also uh, make sure that the connectivity to the systems of the customer are uh, easy and uh, are compatible and, and um, yeah, well done. Uh, great when you have a demo on that control, definitely worth seeing. Um, access as well, I know I said that was going to be the last one but loading the parts Probably one of the ones that's, that's dismissed really, but it should be looked at because it's great access to this machine, isn't it? In loading, uh, checking and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that is really a, a very big argument and ergonomics was always a big target of our developers when they develop new machines. Uh, because as I mentioned before, we have uh, long or some decades already in experience with five axis and five side machining and there it's always a big focus to make life easy for the operator to be able to handle the machine in proper way so you see here for example we can step into the working area uh, the tool loading is right next to the working area and also the control panel is in just one and a half meter distance from each other so the operator everything he has to uh, operate and to do is in yeah it's no walking distance because he has not to walk from one to the other uh, component I, I, of the I, machine. I totally get yeah. it. And, and very all very good arguments as to why the DMG Mori machines are labelled five axis champions and this is just one of many models within the range. Definitely worth coming here to Fronten um, to see DMG Mori machines, not only as you can see them here but actually in action as well and the scenery is not too bad either. Thank you very much Cornelius. Thank you. Thank you.